It's a neighborhood in the Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. I would say it's like a Haitian stronghold. Dominicans live here too. Obviously, it's their country with a lot of Haitians. A lot of Haitians live here. You got every nationality out here. But definitely, it's a stronghold for Haitians. I know they buy a lot of different things, clothes, anything you can imagine. And they take back the Haiti to sell at a higher rate, <laughs> which is crazy to me. They, they buy it wholesale here or wherever how they can get it, and they take it back to Haiti and they sell. Or a lot of Haitians stay here, you know, sell whatever they can sell. A lot of people won't even go to this neighborhood. I recommend, if you don't have to, don't go to this neighborhood. This is one of them neighborhoods that's, during the day is all right. But at night, it's very dangerous. So I wouldn't recommend you to come through here at night. And also, I just had a little incident. Try to get a, um, hold on for a second. I just, just had an incident. Try to get a, uh, I was trying to get a, a moto. Moto Concho and um, you hear that American accent and they try to charge me more because I'm going to Zona Colonia I just came from um, I just came from Boca Chica I took the bus back just to feel the vibe so I was trying to catch a little bus I mean a little moto which is Sequenta Pesos which is like, like a dollar. You can say it's like equivalent to a US, a US dollar. And I went to like three, four people. They try to overcharge me. Even the Haitians tried to overcharge me. One Haitian guy too. I was like, this is a wrap, I'm walking. So it's like a 10 minute, like, not 10 minute, maybe like, maybe like a, 15 minute walk. From uh, Wate to Zona, Zona Colonia, where I'm staying at. Come so, I'm just letting you see what's going on out here on this uh <laughs> on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. And if you get a rental car out here, man, I got a lot to talk about. If you get a rental car out here, Santa Domingue, make sure you can drive. Can the insurance. I mean, obviously, you're going to get insurance for it. But make sure you can drive. If you're not a good driver in the States or Europe or Canada, wherever you at, don't come out here renting cars. I'm telling you, you, it's a death trap. You're going to smack your car up, the rental car. Trust me on that. It's not even worth it. I just talked to a brother from the States, from the South. He said he had a rental since Friday, last Friday. He rolled once or twice. He said they drive too crazy. That he just got the rental setting. Because even me, obviously, you already paid for it. So he said he won't even take the rental. He's just taking the Uber now. So the best thing for you to take is, the best thing I tell you to take is Uber. Uber out here. And if it's not Uber, they have this thing. It's not Lyft. I'm not sure if they have Lyft, but they have this other thing. It's like, it's a Dominican version of Uber which you can uh, negotiate prices. 
I think it's called End Driver. End Driver, that's what it's called. Yeah, take End Driver. Or uh, Uber, man. This place is, place is a madhouse. So I'm gonna walk it. I walked it a couple times, so you know, it just turned into a, a video now. You know, I got my camera in my hand. I also got my laptop, some other stuff on me as well. So this is a park here. I don't know the name of this park. I don't even have the time to ask somebody. Just want to get where I gotta go. Hey, I've been in Boca Chica for two days. End up making an executive decision. So I have a um. And I'm getting an apartment out there, three bedroom apartment out there. I figure I'm here so much. It's better for me just to rent an apartment. Yet another thing is, I guess. Airbnb and just rent an apartment and I pay it month by month. It's 350. So I got the apartment and I'm helping out a Haitian family. They can stay there too as well. While I'm there, you know them. But it's a nice apartment. The, the neighborhood is kind of, I don't know, I want to say it's Boca Chica. If anybody been to Boca Chica, it's just Boca Chica. Boca Chica look a little run down to me. A lot better than what we're we'll looking at right here, out here. Way better than this. But the apartment is flawless. It's real nice. So while I'm here in the DR, aka the Dominican Republic, Richard the World Traveler, this is where I'll be staying. So I'm glad you guys could take this walk with me today out here in the mighty, mighty, mighty DR. So I, I'm still in Duarte. I'm crossing the street. They got a Chinatown right there. So I'm walking through Duarte. I'm almost through Duarte. Look at these cars they right now. This is crazy. And then I'll be entering Chinatown. So you'll see how the neighborhoods will get better and better. So people want to know how safe the DR is. I'm walking around here with a Asbo pocket camera by myself with a bag with my equipment in there. And I'm all right. Granted, I'm a big dude and I am from Philly and I know how to fight a little bit, but it's no problem. I took this walk a million times. But I know the street that we're coming up on, it's called Avenue Mexico. Isn't that cute? Avenue Mexico. I'm gonna cross that Avenue Mexico and it'll bring me into Chinatown. As you can see, you'll see the you'll see where I'm going right now. Hold on. Just wanna get back to the hotel, take another shower, get myself together, man. See how the neighborhood is starting to change, getting a little better once you cross it too. So that's Duarte behind me. Avenue, Avenue, Mexico. As you can see, it's right there. I don't know if you can see it on here. Avenue, Mexico, now I'm across. Duarte's been a horrible experience. I hope this dude don't run me over. Now you see it. I'm entering into Chinatown.
Uh, let me go on the other side of the street where it's a little bit more sunny out. See, bam, right now I'm in Chinatown. Man, please guys, subscribe to the channel. Please get a video like. I'm going to keep bringing out more and more videos for you guys. <laughs> At the same time, work out and lose weight <laughs> as well because I got a little big when I went to the States. Definitely the food in the States is processed. 100% sure the food in the States is processed. You see people still wearing masks. Not much before. Before, everybody was wearing masks here. But now, a lot of people were still wearing them. But mainly, like I said before in a previous video, when they go in the store or some kind of building inside, they wear masks. But on the street, some people have them on. Some people have them off. Some people don't have no masks at all. Chinatown. Chinese is everywhere, man. I'll give it some. That hustle game is. That hustle is off the chain. They everywhere. Chinese are everywhere. 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 So pushing my way through Chinatown. How long I've been walking for now? Let me see this. Time on this train. Like 11 minutes. So I've been walking for 11 minutes. Nobody's bothering me, no problem. Got the camera. Most people don't even notice it, man. This Osmo is like one of the best cameras you can get. Obviously, there's some other good cameras out there, but. For what I do, with these type of videos I do, it works perfect into my scheme of things. Man, I ate some horrible food today too. I ate some uh, food in Duarte, man, horrible. I had to throw it out, you know, Philly time like food. I had to throw it out. Horrible. So, I was you. I wouldn't get food in Duarte. It's another word of advice. I was pissed off because they were trying to overcharge me for these motos. So I was like, get this. I'm gonna just use the money that I got in my pocket to get something to eat. And these are the motos right here. If they hear English accent, or they know you're not from here, no gracias. They're gonna try to. They're gonna try to. I'm good, I'm good, man. They're gonna try to take you take you to the cleaners, my boy. Let me go down this way. I ain't been down this way. I ain't got no money on me, man. Yeah. Definitely I ain't gonna pull out no money in these neighborhoods. I'm altering the route a little bit, but I'm still in Chinatown. But it look a little funky on this block. Block a little sketchy. Block looking sketchy. Man, motorcycles are everywhere. These motors are everywhere. They'll run you over too. If you're in the way, they will run you over. I wish I was making that up. They will run you over. Everyday life, everyday life. Wherever I'm traveling at. Just how it would look if you was out here walking around, driving around, this is how it would look. Just. I'm gonna make a left right here. Wow. Uh, yeah. 
I just make the left. A little suspect on this block, but I'm gonna do it anyway. God, walk with me. Cause they like to be when it's crowded. That was crowded. You got more, less issues. But when it's not crowded, you know, people can rob you and stuff. Message. So it's like a little street in the cut. So people ask us, what do you feel that the DR is dangerous overall? I mean, obviously any place in the world is dangerous, but what I could tell you is they have a lot of security here. They got a lot of police officers, especially in these tourist zones. So if something happened, it's like the US, they will be there in a hurry. And I've seen little incidents happen down here and the police was there. Now, if you went to one of them areas, like one of the, um, how could I say this? One of the hood areas or one of the <laughs> not, not too safe areas that they care about, they protect in the DR, they'll protect their tourist zones. But if you go in certain areas, I mean, Obviously, obviously you're on your own. Obviously you're on your own. Oh, there we go, right there. Oh, uh, that'll take me straight there. Let me just keep walking down, I'm here already. I'll second try to take another street. But now you see how the neighborhoods are turning, getting a little better. And it'll be a point when we get somewhere, you'll see a lot of, uh, You'll see a lot of um, you'll see a lot of police officers, especially in the zone of Colonial. That's why I tell a lot of Americans ask me, or Europeans ask, hit me on Instagram and ask me where they contact me, and tell me where they want to stay at. I tell them, yo, if you ain't really been out here like that, and you're gonna be in Santa Domingo, the capital, stay in zone of Colonial. I tell them stay in zone of Colonial. Cause definitely there, they have peace protection out there in zone of Colonial. When I tell you it's burning up out here, you guys, it's burning up out here in the DR. It's burning up. But I like it. Like I talk about it, but I take heat over cold weather any day. You know, I've worked in Alaska. And I'll take Hot weather over cold weather, any day. I love hot weather. No matter how hot it is, I could just take a couple showers, whatever, whatever, or just stay in the house or stay under the air condition and I'm safe. Going down these steps right now. What's up, man? So now we should be a couple blocks from the from Zona Colonial. There we go. Zona Colonial. The main drag. The main street right here. Like I said about the security. Boom. About to hit this pizza hut. Security guard right there. With a gun. Place is well protected. It's the main drag. Used to be doing a lot of videos on this main street right here. Almost back at the, at the uh, hostel where I'm staying at. Yeah, I'll be here for a couple more days and I'll make my move to Boca Chica. I would already been in Boca Chica. Just came back and grabbed my stuff, but I already paid some days, so I gotta utilize it. Paid a couple days already. So I have to, I have to utilize, utilize it since I already paid for it. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm a tourist guy. What are you looking for? I'm looking for nothing right now. I'm just going back to where I'm staying at. Oh, you need somebody to around? No, I'm good. I am excellent. So I'm about, I don't know, like three blocks from the place where I'm staying at in the hospital. 
Look on a Wednesday, not too packed, but enough people out here. Stuff for Instagram, but I'm too tired to do that. I'll come out later, and I'll definitely have some footage from Boca Chica soon on Instagram as well. Check me on I am underscore Philly Dom, your boy Philly Dom, out here. You see, the, the, the neighborhood's definitely drastically turned. <laughs> Love the weather. Thank you. 